teacher and one day when I was six years old uh, the summer before my kindergarten year she just came home and asked me if I wanted to play the violin I was six years old so I said yes it wasn't until later that I found out that my mother had been doing a little research in regard to how playing musical instruments can help develop your brain so you're saying that playing music can help make you smarter that's exactly what I'm saying yeah Music can also help you meet new friends, huh? There's always a new face that you can introduce yourself to, and that's the best part about it. I've heard the violin is a very old instrument. About how old is it? Violin's one of the oldest instruments in the orchestra. Well over 500 years. 500 years? That's old! Stephen, will you please show us your violin? Sure, Vincent. This is it right here. Cool! So it's called a string instrument because it has strings on it, right? Absolutely. We've got four strings, and we go from the E string, to the A string, to the D string, all the way down to the low G string. How does a string instrument work? Well, that's a great question, Vincent. You start putting your fingers down, you're making the string shorter as it goes over the bridge here, right? And as the string gets shorter, the vibrations become faster, and that's what makes the sound go higher. That combined with the fact that when you go to the next string, the string's actually not as thick. Hear that? You're doing the same thing, but the string is technically smaller, so the sound is going to be that much higher. shorter the string, the higher the note? Exactly. The thinner the string and the shorter it is, uh, the higher the note because those vibrations become faster. Stephen, what's that stick that you're holding do? I've seen violinists rub it across the strings. Is that what makes the sound? Yes, this is called the bow. And you'll see on the bow here, we have horse hair. You rub this across the string or you just let it glide actually. <coughs> and the horse hair contacts the string and makes it vibrate. On wind instruments, you have specific fingerings for each note. How do you know what notes you are playing on a violin? Ooh, that was tough, particularly for me when I was a kid. We use pinstriping from cars, and we string them across underneath the strings against the fingerboard, and that tells your finger exactly where to go to start with. Now eventually, we take those away from you, but not until you've developed your ear to the point where you can tell whether or not your finger is where it's supposed to be. I've heard that violinists get to play lots of notes, and really fast! Steven, how fast can you actually play? Well, Spot, that depends on a number of things. What's required of the music, how much I've been practicing the music. Um, I could play something for you and we can see. Would you like to hear something? Yeah! Let's see what happens here. What do you think? That's really fast. You think it's fast? I can do it faster? I do. Can you try? I'll try. See what happens. Wow. Do you think with my eight legs, I'll be able to play that fast? You can play as fast as you want, as long as you practice. Stephen, I noticed your left hand is shaking when you hold down the strings. Did you have too much coffee today? I do drink a lot of coffee, but my hand isn't shaking because of that. What you are seeing me do is called vibrato, and it's uh, really just an effect, kind of like frosting on cake, instead of just a plain cake, which would be... You've got a little bit of frosting that goes along with it. The violin is the highest of all the stringed instruments. How 
How high can you go? Ooh, let's see. about a little Bach. sounds you can make on a violin. Oh, you can make some weird sounds with this thing. You've got artificial harmonics. We even sometimes are required to play behind the bridge and that produces a little bit of an eerie sound. Check this out. How'd you like that, Vincent? That was so scary. I know, it sounds weird, doesn't it? Yeah, it sounds like something you'd hear on Halloween. Steven. Would you please show Vincent double stops? Double stops, wow. Double stops are unique in that you have to play more than one string at the same time. Usually just two, but sometimes you can play three, even four. Just two here. Then you've got three, even four. Or you've got them in an actual song. near the conductor and the audience. Do you ever get nervous when you play? I get nervous every time that I play. And it's natural. I once had a teacher tell me that it's really an indicator of you caring about how you sound. Stephen, let's play the duet we've been working on for Vincent. <laughs> Spot, where'd that plane come from? That was incredible. Thank you so much, Steven. That was beautiful, you two. Thank you so much for being here with us today, Steven. I'm thrilled to be here, really. Thank you so much. I'm honored. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Meet the Instruments. Join us next time when we will get to meet the very vibrant viola. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. The violin is the best instrument in the orchestra for a number of reasons. Uh, first being the amount of joy that it's brought to me, being able to play this, being able to teach it. Uh, my mom really, really hit it out the park when she gave me this opportunity, and I do appreciate her for that. 